Let's start when you're ready. You're Are we ready? You ready to rumble? I'm ready. We recording? We recording? Uh, okay. Uh, are we ready? Wait, wait, wait. A bit preface. I've got a really bad cough, so if I cough, I don't know what's gonna happen. Don't worry. I'll cough uh, like you... once. Let's get no, ready no. to rumble. What episode are we up to? Episode uh, 12? 14? 14 or 13. 14, uh, can we get off the, the YouTube <laughs> channel? Uh, you probably know which, whatever number we put on the thingy, but oh, hello yeah. everybody. What's up, guys? It's term three. Week yes. one. Week one. Tuesday. Tuesday, the first day back. How's it going? I'm sure you all had a lovely day coming back after three weeks, which is a very long time, more than any other, sc- all the other schools, I'm pretty sure. Most other schools, yeah. A week extra, pretty good. I know I liked it. What, what do we get up to, boys? Mm, not um, much, man. Spent a lot of money buying food, buying drinks and going out and doing stuff, you know, because I got pretty bored. Sweet, sweet. But yeah, how about you, Roman? How about you? Oh, what did you get up to? I finished up all my driving hours. I finally got around to it. Oh, tell me how you did that, by the way. Oh, so one day... I got into my dad's car and I was like, let's go driving. Mm-hmm. So we went up to Two Rocks and then we just kind of kept on going. So we went past Lancel and Cervantes and then finally got to June Bay. Yeah. And then went east around about like 200 kilometers east inland to a place called Dajingarap or something. Whereabouts is that? 200 kilometers east of... Julian Bay. So you were like in the bush, in the countryside. Yeah, kind of. there was no one else there, so it was really good driving out there. And then just pretty much just, just came back. And then the next day went out to Clackline. And where's that? Uh, it was just before Northam. Oh. So... Is Northam north of Geraldton? No. No. no Northam North is... No, it's not. No. Northam I'm... is sort of on the way to Kalgoorlie. Oh, so it's east of here? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like northeast. Yeah. Gotcha. It's way out, middle of nowhere. And how many hours did you accumulate over this period of time? Um, over like three days, yeah. I did around 18, so... That's pretty hefty. Yeah. That's like, how many hours do you need? 50? Yeah. So that's like a third? No, no it's not. That's like a... Come on, Nathan, do the math. I'm not doing the math. Come on. Oh. We don't need to do the math. Uh, we don't need to it's, it's like... It's a lot. Whole, that's a good one amount. One whole day, one... morning to night. Morning, yeah, pretty much. That was the June Bay one, which is morning to night. I remember the only time I stopped was at Dune Bay, and that was for like 10 minutes. And what'd you do at Dune Bay for 10 minutes? I got a pie, and then we walked over to the jetty, yeah. and was like, yeah, it's a nice jetty. And you're like, I've had enough. Let's and go. then I took a whiz, and then we left. What was the pie, if I... Uh, oh, the pie was really nice. It was pepper steak. Ooh. Pepper steak, and yeah. You just, enjoy pepper steak? Yeah. I, I like feel pepper. the pepper's too overpowering, though. We have the gravy and the, the steak and... Hmm? I like pepper, so... Makes I had a sweet. really good one at um, the next day at Bindun. Yeah. A bakery. I find that with country towns, the best part about them is just... The bakery. The bakery. They make their pies and sausage rolls so much better. Yeah, I know. It's just, they just do the bakery. It's incredible. I in when? Oh, I was on the third week, but... Yeah, you probably wouldn't have seen me. But the bakery is... The bakery is really nice. Yeah. Do they make their own, like... Pastry and meat mixture yeah, I'm out there. Sure, yeah, mm. yeah. I had That's a kangaroo so pie. You? No, I just had a chunky beef. Chunky beef. Chunky beef. It's seven dollars. Was that was that a six or seven dollar one? It was a six dollar one. Yeah, what I thought you know? I might have gone all out. Was it quite big or? Every dollar. It's pretty good with the chunky beef. It is a little bit on the expensive side, mm. Mm. but I got kangaroo and it was pretty nice. Mm. Kangaroo is one of the best meats out there. It's very lean, mm-hmm. I believe. It's really good for you. Yeah. What was next? Um, Nathan, what did you get up to? Let the people know. Uh, I was just camping and partying. Where did you go holidays. camping? I went camping up in Bindoon. R- at Bindoon? Yeah. It was yeah. really green, eh? Yeah. That's what I thought. I was staying at a farm just like 20 k's away from the centre. So it was kind of a trek, but hmm. it was still pretty close. And um, yeah, just a boys weekend. Nice, nice. nice. What you want? You went camping as well, Roman. I yeah, I was in Moor River for like a week. Yeah. That was pretty good. I saw a fox for the first time. Ooh. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a fox in the wild. I've seen a lot of not alive ones on the side of the road, but... 
the first one I was like, you know, there. How, how describe the experience? Was it? It was actually pretty cool. Majestic. It was. Ma- or... It was not. I wouldn't say majestic. It was like seeing a ninja, but yeah, m- made by nature. It's beautiful. And it always came around trying to eat the food, and that was it. But then you realise they're kind of destroying our ecosystem, so you, you stop feeling so good about it. Because they were introduced, weren't they? Yeah. They're not a natural Australian species. Nope. Mm-hmm. To, well, why were they introduced? For hunting? Um, I'm pretty sure it was to deal with the rabbit epidemic. Like, the introduced... Yeah, we introduced rabbit. rabbits, but rabbits have a, do a very good thing of reproducing. Because I think it's like, they're not very good at living. So if they reproduce a lot, they have a higher chance of living. Yeah. They're young. We can eat rabbits, and that's it, yeah. right? We can... Use Pretty much. fur, maybe. Yeah, you um, can use fur. Yeah. I don't know. Sure, I guess. <laughs> you can make cute little pets. But... I think it was for the that. Yeah. They used to do that back in the day in a lot of like 1800s. They used to just introduce animals to get rid of the other animals, but then those Wasn't animals... the cane toad introduced to get rid of the wasps? Sugar cane beetles. Oh, sugar cane beetles, yeah. yeah. And then those ones are bad. Like, yeah, I they... Mean, cause... I don't want to exploit the, the beetles. I just want to eat everything. Yeah. And, just... and then everything that eats that then dies because it's poisonous yeah yeah it's pretty Martyr- epic martyrdom yeah <laughs> what was the other thing okay um do I tell my story about the manual I reckon you should this is okay. a good story yeah I don't drive manual which is I which do is I, just like, I just like the world to know that Damien I drive does. manual not automatic. Mm-hmm. I can't be bothered yeah. I just like getting from point A to point B fair enough yeah um but I drove for the first time manual, but on like a not road, it was like gravel. Mm. So, and it was out in the country. And it, and was, it was on a motorcycle yeah. that this dude had just kind of like done up. And what you want. And then I, I crashed pretty much, kind of into a tree. Did you survive? Yes, I did actually. Oh, and the phew. bike only had a really dented light. And I had to like squeak some things and back into place. But pretty much. Uh, even after I kind of wheeled it back and the dude was like, yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. The wheels are like not designed for off-road. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, don't worry. But then, yeah. How fast were you going when you crashed? Um, I don't know. It was in first and then I put it into second and then it sped up quite a lot because on a bike, it's weird because you touch the handle yeah. and you grip onto it naturally. But then yeah. that just makes it go faster, yeah. So then you just kind of just zoom, zoom. go as fast as you can mm. without knowing. And then I turned <clears> and <throat> went on my side straight into a tree. And then, yeah, my shirt was all ripped. Yeah. Was it scary? Not really. It was more of like a, I hope I didn't break this dude's bike, which I didn't, which was good. Yeah. Was it your first time riding a manual motorcycle? Motorcycle and manual and manual motorcycle, yeah. How do you operate a manual motorcycle? Um, exactly. It's, it's kind of complicated. It's, I want to know. To start it, yeah. you've got to get this little thingy out and you've got to like push that down and oh, yeah? it gets the motor going. <laughs> yeah. And because it's like an older one, you've got to keep throttling if, if you're staying still, otherwise it just dies. Mm. And then, going to be honest, I don't even really know what happened, but you just kind of... You push something. You push... It's like a... It's like that, but on on below your foot. So it's like that. So this makes it, I think, go back. This makes it go forward. Because the people can see what you're doing right now. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. He's just like doing like a, a finger gun. With like a song. finger <laughs> gun, pretty much. Where, and yeah. the back one you push down with your heel and the forward one you push down with your toe area. And then that toe area one makes it go up a gear. And then, gotcha. yeah. Hmm. And then that's how it works, I guess. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't just one little no- knob. It was two different. Yeah, it was like things. a seesaw thing. Oh, uh, the one that I rode, it was you have to push like a little, a little button up with your left foot, or you have to push it down to change gears. Uh huh. It was really weird. Yeah, I think the dude was saying that, the that bike was a bit different, in a sense that it was a bit weird. But I I don't know. But yeah, it was a good experience. Good times, good times. Good vibes. Yeah. That's what we like around here. Good vibes. Should we do a really nice transition into the next segment? I reckon we should. Um, speaking of uh, good times, that reminds me of the theme tune of Bondi Rescue. Coming back 
to the Sticky good times. This, I think it's sweet, sweet, times? sweet times. Sweet times. This da-da-da. summer Everything thing's gonna, gonna be, be all right. right in the summertime. Speaking of Bondi Rescue, what's going on with Australian television, boys? What do What do you think about the state? It's going nuts. First of all, Master Chef is gone. It's Wait, this is the first. Canceled? It's got no. It didn't get cancelled. I'll just explain. Like the season's done. No, no, no. No, the, gone. the show. Like the the people who who were okay. Let me spell the story out for you. All right. Oh. This all starts a little while back with a little man called. Well, actually, it's kind of small. I didn't mean to. George <laughs> Columbaris, if you're watching this, please. He's don't. A, he's a little short. But. Um, George Columbaris was found out to be underpaying his staff around. I can't remember how much money. He didn't pay them. I think but it was about two million. It's about two million worth, I'll and the amount up. of staff was five hundred and fifteen. So you do the math. That's like, okay, uh, let's not do the math. Yeah, right? let's not do the math. Yeah. But anywho, okay, so that's bad, right? Don't underpay your staff, but Eat most more. chefs do it anyway. I think it's a thing where they you want to become a chef, so the dude's like, oh yeah, come in for around three four days as a trial period. Yeah. They call it a trial yeah. period, but according to you know Australian law. On employees, you're not meant to give them a trial period. You have to pay them. Oh yeah. So they just say it's a trial period. Come in four days. After the fourth day, they're like, oh yeah, yeah, um, we'll call you. And then they never call you again. They get the next dude to come in. So I think that's what chefs do because it's easy. Because mm. people really want to get into that industry and get a job. So do they though? I'm, I'm going to pause you there. Do people want to become chefs? Yeah. Do a lot of people? Yeah. Is there a bit of have a you dying, seen Master Chef? Dying, I have seen Master Chef. True. It's in the movie Chef. Have you seen the movie Chef? That's a great movie. All the Hell's Kitchens <laughs> and stuff. People want to become chefs, but it's hard because it's you have to actually be really creative with. You have food. to be very good at cooking. Yeah, you have to be really good at cooking. You can be able to make food, but then you have to go into a high pressure situation. A really high pressure yeah. system. I don't know if you guys have worked in a kitchen before, but that I stuff is really, nuts. No. Like. Very tight you spaces. sit down and someone orders the food and then you're expected to cook it in under like 10, 15, like under 15 minutes is the goal. Mm. But then you have to think about, I have to prepare one meal. No, I have to prepare five now simultaneously whilst cooking. And if anything goes overcooked, then that's it. I have to start the whole process again because mm. everything needs to come out at the same time. So it's really hard for chefs. Do you work in a restaurant? Not me. I have worked in a restaurant, not in, in a kitchen. Yeah. Not specifically. Oh, I actually have done a little bit. But anyway, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Back to MasterChef. Back to, not MasterChef yet, George Colin Okay, Baris. George Colin Baris. 515 staff, not okay. Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, he got fined. He himself got fined $200,000, which isn't a lot, but his restaurant got fined around $7 million. Seven point four million, mm. which it was two point six million. Was how it? much he underpaid? He underpaid his staff two point six, but he got fined around seven million. Because yeah. five hundred fifteen people—that's a lot of people not getting paid. Mm. So yeah, big controversy. So then, what happens after that is Master Chef, of which George Columbaris is the host, out of the three other guys: Matt Preston, George Columbaris, and uh, Gary Meagle. Gary Mich- Michel. Mich- yeah, the big guy. Yeah, Gary. <laughs> he's the big one. Um, no, that's the big one. That's the tall one and the big one. Uh, we don't mean to offend. Yeah, <laughs> Gary Mehigan. Told you, Matt Preston and George okay. Colin. Who's your favorite? Sorry, quick side note. Who's your favorite out of the three? I have a. Wa- I've watched Max one episode Ma- of Matt's, Master Matt's Chef. Matt's charismatic, but Gary's just like he's just a good guy. But I, then George is just funny, so it's. Wait, 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 which one? Which one's Matt Preston? He's the tall one. He wears the like. Cravats? Like, no, that's... No. Alright, I'm looking at one... That's George Columbaris, was, the bold one. Yes. Who's the guy with the glasses? That's Gary. I like Gary. Gary seems like a good bloke. Yeah, and that's Matt Preston. And, I, I like the Matt Preston guy because he's, I don't know, big. There we go. That's, <laughs> I, I don't watch this show. It's a good show. Okay. But <clears> anywho, <throat> MasterChef, the pe- people who own the company or whatever, the people who fork out the money and are in charge, say... Yeah. George, you're under a little bit of strife. We're going to have to pay you just a, a little bit uh, less than what we usually pay you. And which is, if you're in a position like George's, you'd probably think, yeah, I should probably take the hit on this one. Yeah. I've, I've been found out to not been doing some good things. I'm going to take the hit here. But of course, George said, absolutely not. 
I will be I will not take this hit I will not do the good thing I'm going to I this is outrageous mm. I have you know George has probably got mansions to pay for he's got Ferraris to buy you know you can only imagine how much money he's getting from Master Chef alone and not any of his other restaurants mm. Mm. I mean that's a lot of money but of course it's outrageous that George would have to be paid less than the outrageous amount he probably is getting paid but anywho he said that's it I'm leaving I'm done and then the other two Matt Preston and Jeff Gary 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 said you know what we can't do it without George Colin Barris we're leaving as well Mm. and so they both said we're leaving and then the company said well we can't keep this show going without you three and they just said well okay Cancel it then. See if I care. They put sort of Top Gear on them. Yeah, exactly. They did a Top Gear on them. Yeah. But were they not in the middle of the season though? Master Chef. I swear they were. Uh, well, they pulled out, but by pulling out, I think they mean that's it for the. Oh, so they'll... if they're still doing the season, I presume they're in a contract, so they would have to finish it. And oh plus... no, it'd be pre-recorded, wouldn't it? And they're, they're playing it now. Oh yeah, but yeah. But the yeah. next season won't happen because no. So okay, as the yeah. moment is now Master Chef is Master Chef Australia but it's is, still aired on TV though isn't it yeah it'll be aired yeah. they have that right the, yeah. the company yeah um, but yeah no more gone Go I on. mean it's kind of a staple of Australian television if you think about it what Master Chef Australia it's pretty oh iconic. yes it is it's up there it's been running forever like 11 years I think it? 2009 oh. was the first yeah. season so yeah 2000 11 years April 29 2009 I've been at St. Mark's for that long yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, it is gone. But in my opinion, it's just going to come back in like two years. They got to find some other dudes, like they did with Top Gear. The exact same thing happened with Top Gear. Did they, the I thought the show crashed after they all left. Did is they find stopped? like a new? Yeah, they got the they dude got from Friends, Matt LeBlanc, Matt LeBlanc, and the guy then who some other Joey, and yeah, then some two random, other dudes. Yeah, but it's not the same. It's just no, like, it isn't. But I think. But yeah, didn't uh, what's his face, Richard Hammond. Jeremy Clarkson, Clarkson and, and oh, what's the other dude? I'm doing? Up, don't worry, guys. Is that the, the really posh one? David, no. <laughs> uh, James May. James no, May. That's, that's it. That's yeah. it. That's it. Did they make a new show? That's like pretty with much Amazon. just Top Gear. But they yeah. did it with Amazon. The Grand Tour, right? Yeah, that's it. The Grand Tour. Uh, his friends are Mike and Abby. No clue who that Shout is. Shout out Mike Nabby. Shout out to them. They're doing... Uh, is Top Gear normal Top Oh, wait, no, 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 my bad, my bad. It's Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. got it. Yeah. Those are just but yeah, they did guests. an Amazon thing where they did like around the world. Yeah. 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 So yeah, they I watched a little bit of that. It was actually pretty cool. And... Is it similar to Top Gear? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Same thing, yeah. But it's a little bit of different format. They still do talking, but it's more... Because Amazon just said, we'll give you so much money, don't even worry about it. They just hop, put them in the cars and they go around. <laughs> don't worry about it. GPS is already already locked in. Just Yeah, just, just hop, in, hop in the Bugatti, hop in the, the La Ferrari. Mm. La Ferrari? Yeah. No, That's an actual type of car. La, Ferra- La, La Fer- Ferrari. The Ferrari is the model. In yeah, they get, they get... It's La. Italian. No, it's, yeah, but isn't, Italian. Yeah, I, yeah, but isn't le la French? Yeah, the Italian. Well, la is also in Spanish. La. Okay, my, my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, they just take it. The same thing, same thing. Anyway, back to Australian television. Yeah. Though. So Master Chef's gone. Master Chef's gone. So, yeah. What happens now? I mean, what happens now? Bondi Rescue's kind of been in the. Okay, let me go through it. Okay. All right. I was watching... I always love watching Bondi Rescue. I don't like... I don't religiously watch television. Neither do I. only thing I really like watching on television was Seinfeld and Bondi Rescue. And sometimes I kind of like the Border Patrol ones as well. Nah. I'm always down for airport security, border control. No, nah, they're is, boring. No. I'd say that's on the same level as MasterChef. Really? The, the people Everyone watches it. They have prime time at dinner time. In Australia, that mm. is on, and it's so perfect because anyone can watch it. Because it's just some like Chinese dude bring trying to bring in bananas, and they're like, "You didn't declare it." It's like, oh, "I didn't think I have to." And it's like, "Okay," 
and then it just comes up with a little and it's like this man got fined five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, they did. <laughs> <laughs> he got deported immediately. Gone. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty up there. And then they have what makes Bondi Rescue so good? Okay, because this is what Bondi Rescue, yeah. in my opinion, is the best. I do agree with you. It is good, but I don't know why. It like... is the most Australian and is one of the best Australian uh, TV shows we've ever made. That is purely Australian. You have to remember Master Chef. It was already in the was UK American. or US. Yeah, uh, Australia's Got Talent was already UK. UA, something. Yeah. I think it was UK made it first, and then US, then Australia, and then a lot of the other things. I think the only pure Australian ones are like Home and Away and Neighbours yeah which is another question who actually watches that who actually sits down and is excited for the next episode or season of Neighbours or, or Home, Home and Away I mean Chris Hemsworth got his start on Home and Away right 10 years ago Margot Robbie did but yeah Home and Away Neighbours started in the I think Home and Late Away 80s. started 84 yeah. oh early 80s it was like 84 it was like 85 86 I'm pretty sure Neighbours was 91. 88. 88. Oh, late 80s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, who watches those shows? I don't know. Just and they're still going. What's People who are that bored of their season lives. Season 30, 100. Oh, wait, no. The last recorded episode on Google, it says that it is season 30, episode 131. And that was in 2017 alone. Yikes. Wow. So it's probably up to like 30, season 32. Right now. I mean, how can they keep the, the plot up? Surely it's just the same. Like, someone new comes in and the relationships change. That's it. People get spicy. I have get a bit annoyed and then they Sometimes leave I and... sit down and watch it and I just... I just don't know what's happening. Yeah. I just... I can't keep up. It's like this... I just don't know what's happening. And it's insane. And I think this is actually quite boring. I'm going to go watch Bondi Rescue because that's a much more entertaining show. What is entertaining about Bondi Rescue? Just about everything. First of all, the cast is brilliant, and they're Australian, which is wonderful. The to cast see. is just the, the uh, yeah, people. the surf patrol people. Yeah, because they're actually real. Of course, that's yeah. the best thing about it. Whoever came up with this idea is a genius. It's real. Because all you have to do is buy a, like three GoPros, and the dude's like, okay, who's out on patrol? Patrol. Slap them on them. Just slap them on them. Slap it on you, slap it on you, slap it on you. Okay, the recording, that's it. I'll see you. I'm going to get fish and chips. And then they come back an hour later and it's like, oh, how's it going? It's like, oh, I just saved like three tourists. Um, there was a shark sighting. It's like, all right, we captured all that. Easy, put it on the air. Done. And you put it on there and it's like, it's thrilling. Because the dude, they go out with the surfboard, right? Yeah. They got a little GoPro on the surfboard and they you can do. see them. And they run out with their big, man, like muscular bodies and they run out there and they... You know, going through the waves and whatnot, and then they pick up the dude and they chuck him on, and it's like, dude, that was epic. That was sick. <laughs> that dude's not gonna drown now. <clears throat> and they get like the little water in their lungs, and they gotta cough it up a bit. I think it's also because Bondi is Australian. Yeah. Uh, if we were like Japanese or American, we probably wouldn't care about the show, would we? Uh, no. Because it's not Australian. Exactly. I mean, because not whatever country. Yeah. Is it that that too as well? It's an Australian idea. Yeah. And I think that's the best. Have you ever been to Bondi Beach? Nope. I've never been to the eastern states. Haven't you? Nope. How about you, Nathan? No. I Dude, I was born there. Ooh. Born in Sydney. On um, Bondi? On Bondi, yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. <laughs> like on the beach. <laughs> I was on one of the surfboards, yeah. Um, that would have been amazing. It was. Yeah, it was. You were so connected to the ocean. I was born in the water. And, yeah. Anyway, okay, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, um, what was my point? Uh, so it's, it, I think Bondi Rescue is the best because there's so much yeah. action going on. Exactly, there's action, goofs and gaffs with the the other the, the chemistry between the uh, the surf lifesavers. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean you have to have chemistry and goose and gaffs. If goose you say and gaffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I think it's the best show. Can anyone come up with a better one? All right, counter counter show. <laughs> yep. All right, have you been paying attention? Have okay. you seen that show? Yes, I, I used to watch it like every Monday. Here's my thing. It got it's, started to we should get put, explain it right first. Okay, yeah. So having tamed, have, have you, you been, been paying, paying attention? attention is mark. on Monday at seven, eight thirty. Like eight thirty. Yeah, because it's got some rude words in it. Ooh. but we won't. Yeah, it's on ten. Channel ten. Yeah, channel ten, and it's pretty much a game show where they get comedians on and, and radio hosts people, and radio stuff, host comedians, whatever. And whatnot. 
to get him on to ask questions about recent current affairs, current affairs. events stuff like that yeah, yeah. okay and yeah and the point of the show is to be funny and say goofy answers but yeah there are some zingers in that show yeah sometimes they they the people who come with the questions they're too set up in my opinion they're too set up where it's like okay I already know the answer true okay, what they're yeah. gonna say but that show isn't what it used to be it used to be a lot funnier I remember I used to watch it a year or two ago and I used to laugh like every episode but I watch it now and I get kind of bored I don't know what's happened I think it was the moment that Sam Pang won his first <laughs> thing is where it started to go downhill and why? I'm not sure what, what it was what, what caused it forbidden prophecy yeah I remember I watched that episode on the one where he was like his first win Isn't or whatever he, you, doesn't he always lose yeah that's like, the thing yeah, okay, so it's the yeah. first time he'd won and it was just insane and then for like three episodes later they three weeks later they just kept referencing the fact that he won and stuff <laughs> it was good but I don't know why but it's just it's not that good anymore and I don't know why I genuinely don't. I mean, Ed Cavalier comes through with some bangers. I know, you know but I think it's because... Tom Gleisner. Yeah, but it's always just age. Sam and Ed and that other chick and... Oh, you know who... Oh, I actually saw... Um, who's the girl who's like... Oh, what's her name? What, she's like a regular. Not as not like a full-on regular. She comes yeah. in a lot. What's her name? Um, uh, I do not she's know. She's a comedian. the cast. She's a stand-up comedian. Um... I lit class went and saw a, a play and she was like starring really? in it yeah cool so it's a bit of like a surreal like moment I was like whoa <laughs> I know you you're from television yeah wait what's her name it's not it's not giving me the cast well it's not really it's a, a K oh. I mean just like members mm, no I don't know I feel like it is it a K Kelly wait just go on Google images and I can probably if I see her face I'll probably remember wait um Okay, oh, we, yeah, we can't yeah, find yeah, it. Okay, okay. Alright, but um, the lich- people know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But. That's my opinion anyway. So the show's been in a decline. I just, I feel that way. I feel that mm. way. Do you watch it, Nathan? I don't watch What television shows show. do you watch? Yeah, what do you, do you watch? watch, Nathan? What do you watch and you're like, okay, I like I like this show. That's I, actual I don't, TV I don't show. I really tune in for TV shows. Okay. Neither do I, to be honest. But That's another thing. Streaming shows. Just, kids don't watch TV anymore. They don't. Netflix YouTube and ne- Netflix. Have you heard Netflix is going down really hard? Is that actually? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, there's a lot of movement going around how, for instance, I think Netflix spent millions of dollars just buying Friends for their American I services. Think friends in the office, yeah. 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 They spent millions of dollars. That's, yeah. And this dude came out and was like, this company cannot succeed because it has to spend so much money on getting the rights and realistically the amount of I think $120 a year is not enough yeah. for, for the for the services or what's this, for the subscribing uh, that it can't work as a company help to boost the yeah. increase the um, so that was the big things. thing is that I think also they're getting decreasing in value of the amount of the dec- decreasing the amount of movies that are actually on Netflix as well and why is that? Just I don't think they can afford to have all the, the yeah. rights for them. So I think how it works is that you buy it, uh, say, we I want to have Shrek 2, but I want it... F- and then the company says, you can have it for five years for this amount of money. And then after that, you can take it off. Or something like that. Mm. But yeah. I don't know. I think it's going downhill. Because Netflix used to be the hype. Like, you had to have Netflix. But nowadays, it's like, who, you know, who cares? You can have Stan is better. Stan, yeah. Stan in some... Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. Uh, put Ocker. Foxtel. Foxtel. H, yeah. HBO. On Foxtel, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't say that, yeah. Um, YouTube. YouTube. I mean, here's another Twitch, thing Twitch as well. Streaming. Netflix originals are terrible. 90% of them are terrible. There's a few good ones. There's a n- 10% are good. Stranger Things? Hello. Stranger Things isn't that good. That's just your opinion. Unpopular That's opinion. my opinion. I don't think it's that good. I haven't seen season three because my Netflix ran out, but you have? Right. Yeah, I didn't even like it and I watched it. I liked it. Should we get into it? I or? think it was alright. 
Some things annoy me. How about season one and two? I don't like oh. Dustin. <laughs> Dustin. I love that little guy. Makes me angry. I'm sure, he has his moments. Is it just his lisp? Is that his it? His lisp Is and that his it? face, and he's really <laughs> annoying. But that's his character. He's so annoying. And every time he starts talking, I just say, I don't care. Turn it off. Turn it off. I don't care about the Eleven character. I don't care about the, the, the main kid. Will. Yeah, I don't care about him. I don't care about Dustin. I don't the, care about Eleven. Millie guy. Bobby Brown. She's a, probably a wonderful person. But I don't care about the actor. How about the, no, the, the character? How about the Australian guy with like the mullet? Steve. Steve, yeah. Who's he again? Uh, he's the Max's older brother. He's he's the best character. <laughs> he was the best character in the whole show. Why? Because he had a thing with um, how the mums really like him. Yeah. The pool scenes. There's the first episode. Is where there's the pool scene where all the mums are really into the Max's yeah, older brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the highlight of the whole show. The rest of it I didn't like because they didn't have him in it doing that. That was the best. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, man, I'm starting to like this show. I'm getting into it. This is funny, and I'm enjoying it. For some reason, it was just really funny to watch. But then after that, of course, like he just becomes the zombie or whatever. He pretty much gets are you, taken are out Are you the spoiling show. stuff right now? I think everyone's watched it, and that's like the second episode. I haven't watched it. It is the second episode. Yeah. yeah. It's like the end it. of the first episode. Probably. Let's not spoil it though. Yeah, don't Just spoil it. It's four o'clock, ladies. <laughs> oh yeah, like God changing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God. Steve. No, not Steve. What was he called? Um. Oh, it's like his real name's like Toby. No, his real name's like Dacre M- Montgomery. Montgomery is yeah. Day. No one calls Dra- him. It's like Dacre. Dar- D- Darko. Dar- Daco. Draco. Daco. Donny Darko. No. What's it? Jake John Hall. Jake uh, Billy. Billy, Billy, that's it, Billy. Hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. And he says, like, hey, hey ladies. It's, it's I love the new swimsuit, Mrs. Gilson. Mrs. Gilson, <laughs> the fact that he calls them by the, like, family name. Mrs. Gilson. <laughs> Mrs. Gilson. It's so good. <laughs> but then they just never did it again. And I was like, okay, I don't want to watch anymore. But yeah, I don't know. I think where people connect is where they get the nostalgia. So that's... All the references they make during the nineties or eighties. It was like eighties, yeah, late eighties. That's late eighties. Like mid eighties. Right? So, I personally didn't connect to any of the stuff. Like for instance, we're like, oh, they're just playing Dungeons and Dragons. It's like, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, let's go to the mall, which I guess we still do now. But a lot of people said that that's what they connected really hard with was the whole mall thing. Mm. Do you? Did you get up to that? No, you haven't watched any of the. I've seen season, season one and two. No, Not that's season a season three, three thing. Yeah. yeah. But that's the whole show is the, the nostalgia thing. And I just didn't feel what nostalgia. happened to the eight, like the like the, the stranger things. Yeah. The actual stranger. And how it's all thing. like the aroma uh, the aroma, the atmosphere of the eighties and uh, oh. late eighties. Mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't connect with it. Plus I think everyone really hyped it up, so I I mean it was very hyped up. Very hyped yeah, up. I will give you that. Yeah. And they're gonna continue making them. But yeah, back to Netflix originals. I don't think they're that good. Ninety percent are really not good. Oh, I love them are pretty bad. Narcos yeah. is a Netflix oh, no, original. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is, is one of the good ones. Yeah. Um, Black Mirror. Yeah, that's yes. not a Netflix original. That's it. That is. Yeah. No. Yeah, that is one of the good ones. I Have you watched loved, any of that? I loved Black Mirror. You I've seen, seen a couple episodes. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, I haven't seen all of them, but yeah, they're pretty like very well thought out. Yeah, clever. They're pretty much just interesting, um, thought provoking. What do you call it? Uh, Isn't the philosophy all the time the the thought thought experiment? Thought experiments. Yeah, yeah, they are. Much Some those. of them are. Yeah. Yeah, they're really cool. They definitely. Yeah, they. Definitely but can you name another Netflix original other than those? Ah, uh, Bird Box. Game. Bird Box. <laughs> that was. That wasn't. That was bad. That was bad. It was, it was kind of bad. I no. Liked it. I'm a Why? Fan of that. Why? How did those birds stay alive? They knew. They, they I own the birds. Those things die like that, dude. Yeah, actually, yeah. You give they they a little bit of smoke or something's in the air, they're gone. They're just gone. They can't deal with it. So when you're telling me you put three of like four or three of them into a tiny box, three. They go in the water. They're crashing around everywhere. No, no. 
Those things are not going to live. They're going to have, you know, the hearts can't keep up with all the things going around them and they just... just gone. Flat line. Flat line, that's it. But yeah, you know what my biggest con- contention with that film is the editing. So you know how it's like, it happens, it starts off like 20 years ago and then it, no, it starts off... It's like a few years It ago. starts to do a Pulp Fiction thing. Yeah, it's where like it's it's all and... it's not it's not it's not a flashback though it's, it's like this event happens it's non-linear. then we cut back to what happened non two years ago and then after around 15 minutes we cut back to what happened two years ago two years in the future yeah okay yeah they jump around that didn't time. need to happen by the end of it usually the purpose that that has like for instance with Pulp Fiction is that it builds up what happens to the characters that yeah. we don't know. Yeah. But it's pretty obvious they're just going to win at the end of Bird Box. Mm. But I feel like they they filmed it all and they had the movie done mm. and they're like, this movie kind of sucks. What can we do to make it better, boys? And they just said, okay, we're going to cut it here, move that to the front, move that to cut it there, put that in front of that and then squish it together and we got ourselves a artistic movie this is gonna be nuts one of my problems was um you know how uh, those two kids their parents boy and girl yeah yeah, yeah their, their parents die yeah and then at the end of the movie she names them after their parents wait wasn't it the no, no. It was, wait the boy was the son of the the son lady Sandra Bullock and the and the no. other lady, there was the Olympia. Oh yeah, Olympia. Olympia. That's yeah, right. something yeah. like that. It was just, like really nice, and whatever. and she named the boy after the black guy, the African American, the African American, yeah, yeah. That's the one. character. Yeah, it was really was, cool. Like, it was so cliche naming yeah. them after their parents. I honestly, I like the fact that they were called boy and girl. I, I thought th- it was really cool. I thought that was like a bad touch. Like, no, it was, no, it was important to conveying that you can't get attached to these kids. Yeah, exactly. They sort of vibe. Yeah, I guess, but... No. Conveys the grittiness of the situation. I laughed really hard when they got into the the end. And it's like, um, just the blind people hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the blind academy, dude. Like, What's up? Could you imagine being blind? Everyone around you is like crashing into cars are crashing around you everything's going nuts and you're just like hey what's going on dude just throwing a Fortnite dance yeah, what's, in the middle yeah, of the road. What, what's everyone getting excited for hey what's going on what's going yeah, on something, someone want to ca- catch me off on events please what's happening outside well the blind people are just hanging out I was actually out. mad at that end, ending <laughs> I just thought it was so silly I, I just saw like the school for the blind and I was just like no I just That's started laughing I had it. the same reaction That's but mine was just laughed it. like that is so dumb I was, I was mad <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> oh my god um yeah were we talking about Netflix originals yeah are they not that good um, I don't know why have, have you seen the Castlevania series no no it's animated but I liked it it was cool didn't um Will Smith's son have an animated Jaden Smith show sure. Jaden Smith Oh, what about that Love Death Robots thing? You guys I didn't watch I that. I don't know what's going on there. I thought was, some episodes were alright, others were pretty terrible. Okay. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but yeah. I guess that's it for Netflix originals. Mom, do you agree Netflix that they... Originals? Australian... Okay. Well, do you agree I... that a few of them are kind of... They have a couple of zingers every now and then, but most of them are, are really bad. not that good. Yeah. Adam Sandler and Netflix originals that's where it's at what's the one with David Spade where he's like oh the do-over the do-over yeah I'm, I'm I n- seen staying it. as far away as that because like last year Not Netflix Netflix's came movie. out and was like we have confirmed seven films with Adam Sandler like seven Adam Sandler films are going to be made in Netflix originals he used to be funny though he used to be funny. Come on. He had he, he had ha- happy he had happy, happy Gilmore. Gilmore. Big Daddy. Don't forget Big Daddy. The Cobbler. <laughs> no. The Cobbler was a great. Movie. <laughs> no. That's, you... That's a cult classic. That's what we're calling that. So not everyone likes it. Um, um, Billy yeah. Madison. What? What, what That's was that? Where he goes back to school. Where he goes back to school, but he's like a eighteen. No, man. it's not funny. Yeah. Happy Gilmore was good. Waterboy. No, that's I not s- funny. Switch? 
Switch. No, that's not good. Grown ups. Du- uh, grown ups is not funny. Fifty first day. Everyone keeps calling grown ups funny, and it's not funny. It's just him and his SNL friends going on holiday. Exactly. It's not funny. <laughs> No, it's kind of. Uh, it's, I just no, don't that, like what it. What about blended? Bl- that's terrible. What is that? What, that's which the one's one that? where uh, it's two families. What's, her, what, together. what's the one he did with um? What's her face? The girl who was the chicken ET who was when she was a baby. Um. What? Uh, what? She was like a baby in ET, and then she did a movie <laughs> with Adam Sandler. It was a ro- it was a rom com. Um, blonde hair. No, no. What's the movie about? Oh, it's The Wedding Singer. Um, the Wedding Singer, that is yeah. the other good one you had. Because it has really nice music in it. <laughs> That's why I, I just remember, I have really yeah. fond memories of that one. Happy Gilmore and Wedding Singer were the, the best ones. The chick from The Wedding Singer, he did another movie with Blended, which is what Nathan's talking about. And it's I think what? Bella Thorne's in that as well. Bella Thorne? Bad movie. It was a bad movie, I'm pretty yeah. The teenager, Bella Thorne's in a lot of the, uh, what is it? Controversy? No. Oh, well... F- She's in controversy for things that we can't actually talk we about on this on this that, platform. No, yes. But I know, I know, yeah. yeah. Um, but she's in a lot of the Netflix originals. Is she? Yeah, the the. I just know her from Shake It Off. Shake It Off. <laughs> That's it. With that um, Zendaya. And, and Zendaya, yeah. yeah. Zendaya went a really good path, didn't she? She, yeah. Like, she went a lot out of people to from Disney go really she, dark yeah. for some reason. It just all Do goes you know wrong. That? Um, but she's made a good career for Miley herself. Cyrus had a Went really dark For like a little bit But she kind of came back she's now She's kind of come back She's yeah. come back now um, Okay yeah okay um, What were we talking about? Um, Bella Thorne Bella Thorne She's in a lot of the Netflix originals Yeah uh, The teenager one The one that are marketed Towards teenagers uh, Kissing Booth uh, Anyone? Anyone? No, uh, Kissing yes. Booth anyone? I haven't seen it no. The one that's Has hints towards Sexual harassment Throughout Yikes. it, because that's kind of what a kissing booth is. No, I know I what a kissing it. booth is. I, I, no. First of all, a kissing booth—that is a disgusting idea. What if you want to kiss someone really cute from the football team? But fifteen other people have just kissed that person. So it's pros- do, do it's prostitution. It? Is it it's, prostitution? It's prostitution. I mean, you pay it's, money it's to do it. It's not sexual intercourse, though. It's just kissing. You can pay... It's like low-key prostitution, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all for the fun of the carnival. Uh, kissing booth. Uh, something wrong with... Um, something's up with... M- martyred What's something. the one where she, like... Where the guy, the hot guy sends the, like, the stereotypically not-so-hot girl a text, thinking it's someone else? That's the one I'm talking about. The uh, Sarah Burgess? Sarah, something's wrong with Sarah Burgess or something. Yeah. Sarah Burgess is the main antagonist in the film. She's the bad guy. Because she's Whoa. the one that does everything wrong. Because she pretends to be... She's the one... She pretends to be a hot girl that the, the guy hot, thinks... Yeah. But she's the one that keeps it going. Catfish lawsuit. Let's exactly. <laughs> Straight up to the Man, dude. No, but it, coming. I haven't seen it, but... Doesn't he like end up liking her in the end? Because oh, probably it's, it's like, oh, I'm does he? Your feelings. Wait, maybe he doesn't. I, don't know, I like I don't to the it. person you are, not for how you look. At exactly, because it's what matters is what's inside. I'm not even angry you catfished me for <laughs> for months, and that I've my all my you know. Let's start a relationship based on nothing about trust. Let's do that, and that's pretty much. I don't even know what happens at the end. Neither. To be honest, I haven't watched it. <laughs> I, we can, that'd be a good we can just watch all those films the teenager ones which is marketed towards us um, I think teenage high school rom-coms oh god dude Malcolm in the Middles I think is they're doing a reunion of that I never what? watched that show I'm pretty sure the, who's the main guy Frankie Munez I think he right. tweeted that he'd be down to do a reunion oh it's different show. to what a Malcolm in the Middle reunion yeah. people say they're down to do a lot of things um, okay yeah yeah. <laughs> right. What's the We're other? What are some of your favorite? Are we out of time? We're almost out. Time. How much? How long? We're at forty-five. Oh, oh, that's yeah. Do, okay. T- Let's sum Sweet it up. ten-second fun fact. I go back to, to go back to Bondi. Ten-second fun fact. Wrap it up. Yeah. I okay. want to plug my demo if that's okay. You, you, can, you yeah. can still do that. All right. So this one goes out to Andy from Sacred Heart, who I met on the English thing at Curtin. I made the demo, dude. Alright, so I, I said in... Was it Podcast 2 or Podcast 1? It was Podcast 2. 
who I said I would make an album and I never did it however over the last holidays I did it and it is a demo I will just say that mm. the guitar it's probably sloppy the instruments are out of time the sound quality is not the best because it was recorded on my phone but the music's there and yeah the arrangement and the composition may need a bit of tweaking but I think it's got some good songs um, so if you did want to listen to that it's called the EP demo because I, I found out that there's not enough songs to be an album. What's but, an um, EP? How many songs? It's only six songs. That's an album. I, no, I think an album Surely. needs at least eight, right? I don't think there's a rule on it. There's not really a rule, but... What's yeah. it, what does EP stand for, then? Extended play something. Right? Yeah. Playlist? Probably. But yeah, they're all original except one, which is a cover. Um, and yeah. Seven songs. Whoa. Seven songs is an album. For an album? Mm. Okay. So you literally just needed to do, make one more, even if it was just I five could. seconds. There was one song I was considering putting on it, but I was like, nah, this doesn't feel right. And, and it's also going to run over 30 minutes. I think it only goes for 24 minutes. Yeah. But yeah, um, if you do want to check that out, Dang Dang, my YouTube channel, my old YouTube channel. Sure, there's a I'll link it below. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. Should we go back to the what this original conversation was all about? Our, Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Do you agree with me that Bondi Rescue is the best show that Australian television has to offer? <sighs> Australian television, probably. Better probably. Homes and Gardens. Along, it's alongside. Better Homes and Gardens. It's when you were younger. Is that Australian? Did yeah. it start Australian? Probably not. No, you're thinking of guarding, gardening Australia. No, Better Homes and Gardens, Channel Seven. Is that with Do- the dude Do- with Dr. the Harry. dude with the um the beard? The beard? Yeah. I think that's called Gardening Australia. No, that's... Better Homes and Gardens is Australian. Burks, yeah. Burks. Is that the dude with the beard? No, that's Gardening Australia. I'm thinking Gardening Australia. Burke's Garden, right? No, yeah. okay, okay. That's better than God, Better Homes and Gardens. Better Homes and Gardens is an amazing movie. It's, it's just good. good, relaxing Friday night Yeah, vibes. they're both the same anyway. What am I arguing No, but about? Better Homes and Gardens is like cooking <laughs> and DIY and... Yeah, uh, yeah. It's gardening just does gardening. Gardening's not, pretty relaxing. Not. Okay, I'll give you that. Okay, right, but so, is, is it better than Bondi Rescue, though? That's the question, all right. Um, I could sit down and watch a, uh, a whole season of Bondi Rescue. Just because it's just I mean, so it, kind of, it gets kind of repetitive, though. It's like, all right, go save someone now. Come go on. save a tourist that's drowning. Yeah. This guy from Germany doesn't know how to swim. Oh, this is He's stuck in the rip. There's a rip at Bondi Rescue. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it does get a little bit repetitive. <laughs> uh, just notice that. There's a rip. There's a rip. There's waves crashing on that rock nearby. I've got to pull people out. But he's also stuck in the rib. That's why he's going near the rock. That's why he's going near the rocks. Yeah. It's always the rib. It's always just the rib. Ribs are nutty. Also, the the jellyfish things. They got it. Ah, yeah. There's like a five minute segment in like every five episodes. Just like. And also, you got a slip slap slap. stings. Yeah. Yeah. Slip slap stings. Well. Um. (laughs) Also. It's probably too much. I just got an idea, but the best musical group that is Australian is Men at Work. I second Where that. Where can it be now? Do you second do, that? Do, do, do. That is Australian. The greatest Australian musical I don't ever. really like any Australian music, but surely... Men at Work? Men at Work. They have like five It can't hits. be anyone else. There's that more to a band line. than just hits for them, though. What do you mean? Like, just because they're hits doesn't mean they're good songs. Well, it means everyone likes them. Land down it means under. commercial Sarah. success. Land, they got... Do you come from a land down under? They do. You'd be like, who can it be? I'm all about having good, critically acclaimed albums, not just hits, but that's just me personally. Those are are worth your opinion, dude. They might have been best of. Um, That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Alright, I think we should. Alright, back to Bondi. Bondi, Bondi, Randy. Australian television. So we got. That's what I think. Better Homes and Gardens, Bondi Rescue, and MasterChef. And have you been paying attention? Also, you can't forget the border control. And highway that, patrol. Highway no, patrol. no highway patrol. I it's hate the, the cops. Sh- it's the and same no, it isn't. Show. No, it isn't. No, but, it is not no, the same. When they, better boy, people. when they're doing the because breath, because they're all drunk or high or they're having a good time. When they're doing the breathalyzer test, and you're going to guess like what yes. it's going to be. Okay, that's so hype. Come yeah, on. I'll give you that one. Okay, cool. All right. But you cannot say that that's the same as the border control. He seems like a zero point four six, dude. I swear. He seems like Damn, get hit with a zero point five two. He's done. That is pretty fun. Antiques Roadshow? That is a banger. I do Antiques like that Roadshow. Is it an Australian version of it? No, no, it's British, but... Well, it doesn't... It's, it's not in the same ballpark. It is funny, though. though. This, is the, this is a pendant, an amulet my grandfather had in his basement, in his attic. 
it's a family heirloom. It's been in the family for years, and it's worth like fifteen hundred dollars. All right, <laughs> let's get that. All right, okay. Ending um, this bad boy. What's gonna be the best Australian television show? Bondi Rescue for me. David, it's gotta be a Highway or Airport Security. <laughs> I just love it. It probably brings in a lot of ratings. I kind of want to say Better Hope and Gardens. <laughs> what? Do you ever actually watch that when show? When I was younger, yeah. I don't watch it anymore. What shows do you watch now? On like, Australian on television? On actual like, cable television. Like, nothing. Like, I hate being paying attention, like, every, like, once in a month. But, like, not even, not even that, like... I think that's the underlying theme here that we've established. We just don't watch TV anymore. But I don't think many people do watch TV anymore. Like... Our age. Yeah, okay, you know what? Bon Rescue, I'll give it to you. It's yes, pretty good. All right, I win. All right. I win. Okay. And on the and in the honor of because we talked about Top Gear. And on the on, okay. And on that bombshell, <laughs> um, the end. No. Uh, ten second fun fact today. No. That's a bit. All right. Thank Anywho. you. Thank you for listening, everybody. Hope you have a good term free. We got a lot hustle of hustle down. We got a lot of cool guests to come on, so please stay tuned. We do. Please. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome Thanks back. For Cheers. Bye. See ya. Happy one.